What's up, Patio Tanks? Another day for you guys. I know it's been a whole month that I haven't done a video for you all, but I think last time, I don't remember if I've moved these F4s into this tank for you guys to see, but these are my F4s, especially uh, except that guy. He's an F2. I accidentally scooped him into these F4 batch right here, but there's a lot of them that are still really good looking. Um, don't mind all the water spots. This is outdoor and we just got through a big big storm that came by in Sacramento here Aside from that something important that I have for you guys if you guys are interested is this competition batch right here. I'm very interested in creating this batch right here. My goal for this batch is to have um, double rolls good pearls and good marking, uh, um, good marking, good structure, good fins and tails, and uh, a little bit of coke proportional to the body. Not super big, but not super small either. Hopefully they have good potato cokes that is uh, big. I mean, if it's big, that's a bonus, but I want it to be proportioned to the body and um, a good color. I know that these, these two right here doesn't look like they have good color, but then Genetically, they have very good colors. So I'm basing, basing it off of their genetics. So these two are my competition bash and I'm gonna call them competition, um, competition cross, all right, competition X. This is my competition X group right here. They're very, um, hopefully, fingers crossed because I hand selected these two to be breeding. And these little babies in here, the father is to get the male that I just crossed right here. These babies there are swimming up. There's a few of them. Most of them um, didn't really make it there. I think there's less than 20 in here or about 15 around there. You know, we're between those numbers, but this batch right here is a mystery X. Mystery X meaning a mystery cross because this female right here is a very weird looking female. She's a Canfla F1 very nice structure and whatnot sorry i just did water change and i'm not quite sure of how they will turn out because she has very dull golden color with a very strong line in the middle so i'm not really sure of how that batch will turn out of course i'm expecting good structures and good fin i'm not sure about color wise so i'm calling this batch right here the mystery x batch um Hopefully they come out good. I mean, some of these guys are focused. Some of these guys have good structures already. Such a young age, pretty big tail. But um, we're gonna we're gonna wait and see how some of these guys grow out. Um, they're gonna be in here for a while, and, and once they get a little bit bigger, and I'm able to scoop them up, I'm gonna scoop them up and uh, use this tank as a grooming tank for more, or maybe grow out tank for more fish. And I do have all of these guys right here that are available these are f2 camphas i just did a water change so they're just settling down and i do this guy is flying out tomorrow right here he's a camphor f1 uh camphor f2 sorry my fault uh, and i do have a lot of these f2s right here available as well some camphor golden base f2s in there as well these guys are very very uh, there's still a lot of nice qualities in here left. I have about 40, maybe 50 left in here. And in this F4 batch, I have about 30 left in here. So everything's going quick. And I do have these right here as well too that are available. So if you guys are interested, head over to my Facebook, check out the live that I have been going on. Wow, that guy is beautiful. He is for 120. Um, and I do have a, a wide range of different Canfas here. They're just Canfa F2s and Canfa F4s, but um, there's different mix of batch right here. And once again, anticipating for this batch to be one of my most complete batch that I've bred um, for flower horns, Canfas. This is going to be an F2. If anybody's um, wondering what they are, they will be F2 competition X batch. So I do have these guys available. Hit me up on Facebook or on Instagram, okay? I'll probably put the description down in the link below. Um, you guys could check it out. But 
the this is what I have for now of a little bit of what I'm gonna be planning um, for this Thanksgiving week if you guys are watching is um, I do have a deal check me out on Facebook but I will be shipping um, every day this week all the way until maybe Thursday um, Thursday I will not be shipping anything out because UPS a lot of things are being closed Monday through Wednesday I'm shipping stuff let me know hit me up if you've seen this video early all right last but not least I will not be shipping any more fish um, until the end of December 20th that'll be my last day to cut off shipping fish I do have five dollars um, heat packs for all of that and I only offer overnight shipping which is 65 bucks I know it's a little bit of um, uh, hefty but it's a lot safer safer than sorry um, I don't want you guys to get any bad look damn she's beautiful but she's a little awkward um, I don't want I don't want you guys to receive any dead fish in, in the mail like the last couple months and I apologize for most of my um, the last two weeks I have major deaths DOAs because the bags that I've used are very bad and I'm not gonna be putting it up here I'm just a bastion company but they are good for transportation on a short ride but if they are and going on a long ride I don't think that they will be the best bags for you guys um, for anybody wanting to ship fish outside of the state or more than eight hours because because then you will receive a lot of death so that was one end on uh that was my fault but another one on the company's fault as well too not saying anything bad about them they are very good bags for short rides but long rides they tend to leak a little bit i don't know why i don't know what the cost for that is but um i apologize for everybody who has received deaths from me all right um i'm i'm taking those taking care of those slowly i do have new bags that are a lot sturdier a lot better a lot stronger and they're not leaking so um last week i haven't had any deaths so fingers crossed these bags new bags that i'm ordering are a lot better and yes my last batch just want to reiterate this is my la my batch for the new year to start hopefully fingers crossed this is a very good batch right here hit me up on the dms on facebook and instagram and we'll talk it out all right this is gonna be my last video maybe for this year i don't know i have another one coming out um about something special so i might just have one more and that'll be it for the rest of the year I'll catch you guys in 2025. If I don't come out with another video, adios and deuce.